to many as a forgotten community, Reservoir Hill Community held its second annual festival this past Saturday. Volunteers of this community held this event to emphasize the coming together of communities and community involvement. So the idea is that we want to bring people from the community out to come together in solidarity to celebrate the community while also drawing attention to this particular intersection which has historically sort of a bad reputation. In attendance at the festival were numerous of representatives from different organizations. Amongst those representatives were Morgan State's Director of Community and Economic Development, Ellis Brown. I'm out here at the Reservoir Hill Festival as I have been the past three years to promote Morgan here in this community. Uh, we have partnered with this community for several years. In fact, there's a playground right back behind this house that to back of you that Morgan State University's graduate program in landscape architecture helped to design and we helped them raise funds and help them get a grant from Kaboom, which is a national playground building organization funded by the Ravens. Uh, Communities Festival were packed with numerous people, live bands, and Baltimore's best food trucks. A representative from Jubilee Arts, Mariska Jordan, explained why she came out to support the event. It benefits the community because there's a wealth of resources that are out here that a lot of people don't know about. Um, I love my city. I was born and raised in Baltimore, but a lot of times we're very siloed. We stay in our very small corners. And we don't get out and realize and, um, and get to see all of the different resources that are out here. St. Francis Neighborhood Center will continue to hold events so the Reservoir Hill community will not be forgotten. This is Jasmine Brown joining you from Morgan State Student Media.